example, if you go through the channel tunnel, then the train will be going over the rail steel that uh, I invented, totally by using theory. Okay. Then there is the uh, latest, which is the superbainitic armor. Uh, that is built on the foundations of a very, very long piece of research going on for more than 30 years, where we try to understand the mechanisms of a particular crystalline form called bainite. We now have the world's first bulk nanostructured steel, one of the applications of which is this uh, superb armour. My day-to-day -day work uh, c is quite varied. Um, I am often doing analytical work, so that's a lot of pen and paper derivations. Uh, because I'm a theorist uh, and I can work at my computer or with a pen and paper, I'm very mobile, so I can work pretty much anywhere I want. When I became a scientist, I had a very particular goal in mind. I wanted to get out into space, and I still do. But a career in science has enabled me to do things which I would have never dreamed possible. Um, I've stood on a mountain in Chile and seen my moon shadow as we'd gathered data in a telescope. Um, I've been able to help in one of the biggest problems that we're fighting today, climate change, and develop instrumentation that help us understand the climate and hopefully help solve the problem. But I've also seen, uh, I've been to places like Cambodia and seen kids with their limbs blown off and known that I've been just a, played a small part in helping solve the problems of landmines. So I get to travel all over the world and meet some pretty fantastic people. And this is all because of a career in science. So I think I'm incredibly lucky. It seems clear to me that young people have that appetite and that mind um, to really engage with, with science. Uh, and I think if they can get into that, I think their imagination can be used to, to great effect. There are still problems in, in diseases um, on the planet and it will require imaginative minds. And I think if there's an opportunity to do that. And what I really say with science and what it's, it's really interesting about is that it's based on your own sort of skills and knowledge uh, and determination. Um, more so, I think, than other areas of industries where it's partly a case of who you know and what you know. I think it's a really exciting time to be a scientist in general and a, a chemist in particular because we need chemistry to develop new green technologies. Another aspect of science which is great is that it's really open to, to everyone and if, if you're really interested and passionate about science you can get really involved and you know, I'd, I'd say that that sense of wonder and beauty about the natural world is fulfilled by studying science. Whatever I've done, whatever I've applied science to in my life, it's, it's about exploration. It's like about being like Captain Kirk, but instead of exploring different planets, there's so much to explore here. It's great fun. Uh, if I was born again, I'd be a scientist all over again.